so I am at the top of the world. Um, there are those some of you who know where that is, and um, I'm doing mixing notes. This is the last. Um, how many pages? One, two, three, four. Four last four pages of mixing notes for all the songs, and um, they're sounding good. The idea now is to mix um, the finals. Um, in the next 24 to 48 hours. It's not major stuff now, it's things like um, uh, on Zombies 3 um, I'm doing a new style of vocal which comes from Zombies 2 but it's new to you because you won't have heard of me do it before. Um, it's kind of low, it's like really really low but it's not that creepy voice, it's kind of a, it's like a um, screamy version of that and um it sounds really good it sounds better when it's really really edited like over edited because you really when you get it going with the kick and snare it sounds almost kind of mechanical it's weird like that and um but that's a new thing i'm bringing to the uh, to the table and that's the main basis of the mixes because the songs are done um this is the problem with mixing you uh you can do this forever like, I've had albums, I've worked with bands, and... But still, there are things on albums that I think, I can't listen to that song, I can't listen to any of my own music. Because, at the end of the day, I see the music. I see it because I'm, I produce it literally on screen. I see in my head the issues on screen, which aren't always immediately, apparently, um, a problem. Um, like, you wouldn't always necessarily... Excuse me. Know that it's a um, know that they were in fact a mix. That's a mixing problem, but um, nonetheless, it is an issue to me because I can hear it and I can hear things in Zombie Three now that need to be rectified. <clears throat> and they're my mix notes. Joey has his own mix, mix notes. Um, top of the world, though. This is a good place to come because it's away from loads of people. I've got really nice speakers, both speakers in my car, and uh, not showing off. They just happen to be good. They came with the car. Um, but they happen to be good for this exact purpose, for mixing in a very kind of standard way. So I chuck all the knobs on my EQs in the car down to, well, just flatten them all so it's all flat. And listen to it at a relatively loud level. It's not like bangs or your ears, you know, or subs are going mental. I do have subs, but it, it doesn't touch that really. It's more about the kind of average user experience and not everyone's going to have subs in their car, not everyone's going to listen to it in the car. So this is one set of mixed notes and the other set of mixed notes will inevitably be on uh, speakers, real studio monitors and headphones. I think Joey's done the headphone kind of uh, mixed notes, so that's interesting. Uh, but the top of the world's good for that um, because it's quiet, it's not near anyone's houses, it's on the road, it's really, really easy. And um, one thing about mixing, for those of you who are going to mix, don't ever, ever eat before mixing. Um, don't eat sugar for about six hours before before mixing because you get a very different idea of how your mix sounds if you've had sugar. And that's that's obviously a problem because it's kind of bias if you're doing that and that's not a good um, not a good way to start. So just drink water and starve not starve, but nil by mouth for about four hours beforehand. Because if say um Oh, I don't know what you guys have in America. Um, we have Red Bull and Monster. I think you have those. Um, if you had that before mixing, the mix will sound fucking great to you. It will sound like the best thing you've ever heard. Seriously, it, it really affects the way that you hear things. It's um, it's almost like a positive influence, and you can't have that. You have to be as not as negative as possible, but just flat. You need to be flat. So don't ever have sugar before that. Um, I do want to mention something about, um, I'm going to turn off this fucking car engine, mate. That's better. That's much better. Um, now the lights in the back have come on. Though. Um, I do want to mention something about the chronology of zombies and that stuff. Because there's this inevitable question that keeps coming to me, which is, where's zombies to? Um, because you'd assume it would go zombies 1, the lights in the back have gone off, and now it's spooky. Zombies 1, zombies 2, and zombies 3. Um... That's not quite the case, as you find out in the very first three minutes of Zombies 2. Um, right. 
Actually, I don't want to give too much away, so I'm not going to. But in the first three minutes of Zombies 2, the world ends. Moon rockets hit the Earth. And it ends. And then you go back. So you hear this gigantic, and trust me, uh, it's it's the loudest sound I could ever create. It was... It's not just one sound, it's it's uh, maybe 50 to 60 sounds all in one. It just sounds like your speakers are going to faint um, from exhaustion. It's hor a hor it's a horrendous sound, like it's not a nice sound at all. I, I didn't want to make it just a big bang. I thought let's make it like a kind of something really disturbing. Um, something more kind of meta metaphorical, not metaphorical, maybe metaphysical. Something a bit different. Um, and so in the first three minutes of Zombies 2, you go from this, um, let's call him a messenger, um, talking to you, um, introducing another party, a doctor to you, who you may know. Um, and then it all ends. He essentially gives gifts his work to this doctor and realises that it's all about to end. After that... Um, the explosion you go back exactly one hour in time so the hour is one hour the, sorry the album is about an hour and five minutes long it's a little bit more than that because there's obviously hidden stuff as well but um but it will go back in time and it's really really heavy like um zombies ones yeah it's got heavy it's got a few drops zombies three is pretty fucking heavy Zombies 2 is, is upsettingly heavy, I'd, I'd say upsettingly heavy, um, and it's not just kind of um, screaming and stuff, because it's it's not, I still have melody, I love melody, um, and screaming isn't a massive part of what I do, although in Zombies 3 there's a lot of screaming, but um, in Zombies 2 it's, let's call it mechanical torture, it's not the same as Zombies 1, it's not the same as Zombies 3, it's probably the biggest step away from of of the trilogy, it's the most different, um, and it's been the most difficult to to track. That's for sure. Um, and I think in that respect, it deserves a bit of respect in inverted commas because it's pushing my boundaries of what I want to do and all that kind of stuff. And um, but it was good. Zombies three though has been just amazing. Like like listening to it now, I just listen to it. It's like an hour and. I think it's an hour and seven minutes, something like that. It, they're all very similar. I think Zombies 1's the shortest, actually, but this is... It may be longer than that, so don't hold that to me. Once we put everything together and kind of puzzled it all together. Which is really soon, by the way, so you should be expecting this album, like, this week. I mean, I don't want to get everyone's hopes up, but it will be in the hands of iTunes within 48 hours, and then it's up to them. So I'm, that's a promise, by the way. Um, this is like, it's literally ready to go. There's only a couple of things, as I said, that need to change. Um, what have we got here? Let's give you an example. Avogadro. Um, oh, okay, there's a little bit of um, Illy before. It's not called Illy anymore, by the way. Yeah, it's called Minya. Um, but there's a little bit of Minya before the actual song starts, and it's I need to change a little bit of it because... Um, subsequently I found out a little bit about the next game and I wanted to add something in um, so I've got to do that I've uh, got to add, well just push up some of the bass EQ on the bass guitar uh, more normal bass in verse see I've already forgotten what that means uh, I'll bring up toms in pre-chorus um, bring up the ride in the second breakdown really simple, I mean that's 2dB, 3dB uh, minus 1dB Oh yeah, and then I have to uh, cut the cut a bit of the uh, the verse vocals because they're now wrong. Um, see, this is the problem with with learning things about the next games. I, I want to rectify them. Uh, I want to get this album to a place at which it will serve you in not just the end of this game, which is really soon, but to carry you over and think about the next game because there's things that I mention in this album lyrically that you won't know what I'm talking about until the next game. Particularly in Rise Above, Bury Me, and oh, Afraid of Living as well. Those three have particularly um, next game-orientated lyrics. 
I hope anyway, because you know things are subject to change and things always change. But um, that that's the kind of style that I'm going for. I'm really trying to push the envelope. Zombies Two is all about the next game, um, which is well, it's all about the extension of the story in the next game. It's not particularly about the maps, or is this is more map orientated? Because I think people really just want to know what the map names are, and uh, I don't like doing that. I'd rather give you. And I can't do that as well. You know, there's this also this fine line between what Activision will let me do. Because um, at the end of the day, I can't just release this album. I can't have any samples from the game. Because there's this threat of if they ever fucked me over, they take it down. Um, and I could get sued for that. So there's no samples from in-game. Made all of our own samples. Can't mention character names. Um, can't mention anything like that. Even though they don't own character names, you can just have... A million people called Takayo. He doesn't know Takayo. It doesn't matter. But Takayo. I said Takayo then. Jesus Christ. Um, so tired I am. Um, but there are some things like that that I need to be aware of. To make sure that, you know, they have no control over what I do. And it's inspired by the series. So they can't do anything anyway. They shouldn't do anything anyway. Because the community like this music. It takes a, a really long time to make. As you'll probably... Actually, this has been the fastest one with Joey because it's been just so fluid making the album it's just been so simple seemingly like it's just come to I think what happened at the end of Zombies 2 when I finished because it's finished well it's still being mixed but it's finished tracking uh, at the end of that I was kind of like um, I still had ideas and you know there's a song on this called High Rises what you've probably heard High Rises but that was a song that I finished that I actually sorry I created just after I finished the tracking for Zombies 2 and it doesn't fit with Zombies 2. I always thought I'd be able to kind of fit it in somewhere. But I didn't want to just put in another song. Because it existed. I wanted to kind of. I didn't want to do that. And so. When Joe came along I thought. Well let's try and make something that would kind of. Take these two songs. Because obviously Alcatraz and High Rises are mine. Well I mean solo mine. But they've changed subsequently. With Crew 916 there. Sorry, these are kind of like the Group 916 versions of those songs. And um, they're different. And uh, But this album suited them. Like, this album was kind of cro not crafted around them or anything, but it just suited them. So I thought, let's put them in, let's change them up. Um, there's the bridge in Alcatraz, which if you play the version of Alcatraz that you've probably already bought, and play this version you'll understand, you'll be able to hear in the original version that you've already got, you'll be able to hear these vocals. Right, with Zombies 2, there are two versions of the album. There's the limited edition, and then there's the standard version. Limited edition's like two quid more, I think. It's got like four more tracks, and uh, an acoustic something as well. But uh, the main thing is that on the standard version, all of the secrets have been scrubbed out. All of the things I don't want you to know about the next game have been scrubbed out. And so why would you buy that? I mean, well, who would... Who, I, I, but people asked, they liked that, and I don't get it. But then Zombies um, Zombies 2 Limited is has all those secrets left in. And Alcatraz was the first song... Sorry, it wasn't the first song. It was one of the songs that, again, I created after Zombies 2 tracking was finished. And had that influence still in it with those secrets. Because I thought maybe, again, I'd be able to cram it in somewhere. But it's such a different style. Like, nothing seems to fit with Zombies 2. It's more like fucking Diplomat. And, I don't know, just something... I don't know, it's mental. Um, it's really good. Like, it's, it's so heavy. It's brilliant. But, um... But Zombies 3 is... is I'm probably most proud of Zombies 3. Because it's really good. And... I think a lot of people will appreciate the time and effort that went into it. I think the songs, like, they're more memorable than Zombies 2 songs because, again, heavier doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Um, I think the melodies in Zombies 3 are, are big. And things like Avagadro, that's something you can never forget. It sounds like Queen, Back from the Dead, literally undead version of Queen. And uh, Rise Above and stuff is just, just... And the ending song, Dissension, is probably my favourite. Um, really, really good. So proud of it, and I really hope you like it, guys. I wanted to make this because I don't like selling you things, but at the same time, I think you need it. Um, you know, whatever you know, you'll get it. However, you get it. If you want to pay us 
uh, then we thank you so much because it is hard work. And if you don't, then that's fine. Um, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.